Hello everybody, got a breaker box here. I want to just show everyone how to put a new breaker onto them. This is a new box, so if you're doing a new hookup or if you got your old hookup already, always make sure you got your power shut off. This box does ha not have a main to it. It's out on our electrical pole. But a lot of boxes will have a main on the top that you want to shut off or the one on your pole or wherever your meter is. Always take and double check, make sure you don't have no power to it with a multimeter or some kind of voltage tester. This one I know is not live because I ain't got no power ran to it at all. But what you'll want to do is these little knockouts around on the sides. Here that all depending on which size you're doing. On this here, it is a uh, three eighths and a half inch knockout, and it's a clamp connector. They call it. Some people call them robo connectors, but you can just knock those out with a screwdriver and a hammer, and sometimes a pair of needle nose pliers is needed to bend them out. Take that, and get it started on the top, and usually making a video stuff don't go right. But tighten those up, and you'll want to take a screwdriver or something and hit that, and make sure it's good and tight. Back your screws out a little bit enough that you can get your wires up through it. And we're just doing a dummy wire here. This would be coming from your plug in or, or your light switch. Always do it enough that you got enough wire to come up to your little parts up here where your ground will be or your common. Once you get it where you think you got enough, go ahead and tighten it up. And apparently I had them out way too far, but you all want to always want to check with the code too on these to make sure on your know, wiring and where you need to put your staples at. And when you tighten these up, don't over tighten them so that it's pinching into the wire and making a bare spot for the ground out. But coming out of there, you'll want to bring it over and you'd want to put a wire staple somewhere in here. And you got to put them every, I think, 18 inches or so for Indiana for it to be up to code. I'm not for sure. But check with your state to make sure. Once you get that up through there like that, I always take a Stanley knife with a sharp blade and go down through it they make a tool for this too so that you can just put over the wire and slide down it Once you get it like that, this here is your ground wire. It's usually a green wire or it's usually bare too. So ours is a bare copper here.
back that screw out enough and tighten it down to hold your wire in. So that wire would go like that in it. And you got this wire, which would have to be skin out. I got a pair of strippers here somewhere, but we'll just cheat and use the knife. You would bring this up and it goes hooked in the same spot actually as the regular ground does. So I'll just come over to the next spot wire down behind it tighten it up make sure it's in there good and you got your breaker here you'll have to determine what size of breaker you need this is a 20 amp space saver one so what you do on these find out where you need your wire at I'm just going to use this full length of it cut you off just a little bit of it about a half inch and on these here they have a little screw back in there Take and back that out a little bit. And your wire goes up into there. This would be your hot wire. Tighten that down. And on this hair breaker, it just slides, sets down into this hair spot. Line it up with the little pole there. And they just snap into place and you put your cover back over your box and there's four screws that holds it in there. Pretty simple, easy to do. If you have any questions, post them down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And hit the notification button and have a great day everybody. Bye.